Welcome back all to what will be the last episode of the series, episode 16. Last episode, we did a lot of base stuff. A lot of flooring, making the place look a bit nicer, expanding out rooms, making fancy recreation rooms, which I'm kind of in love with a little bit. I even managed to pay the rest of this. We just got a lot of blocks to move to make it look nice and flush. And yeah, the corridors are done. Didn't really do much over here. I made these walls a bit better, like better quality ones, because we keep destroying them. But I'm kind of hoping we don't have that many raids today. If we do, we might have a couple. But the main aim for today was one, finish off this base, which all it really needs is flooring changes for certain rooms. There's no more rooms I want to make, apart from we just need to load out a sauna and a hot tubby thing over there. Otherwise, that is the base done. We got our second relic last episode. We won't go for the third. We haven't got the time to wait around for five more quests for the ore bond, whether that is Gatling laser or something, plasma cannon. That sounds dangerous. Sounds a bit too dangerous, potentially. <laughs> that sounds like a friendly fire waiting to happen. But I'm thinking we also want to get our last election day done. So we can see who the final leader is. I'm going to guess Angelina again. And we just finished off making the power arm. That's perfect timing. Because I've still got Rev. Who's playing the instrument. But he should be... Wearing armor. And that means everyone's got power armor. Except for Maria and Angelina. Angelina is our high mate. Pacifist leader. Who stays in the base. And Maria is 80, almost 88 years of age. It'd be a sad day if she dies on the last day of old age. <laughs> she is, uh, she's a few years past the recommended. But yeah, we just want to get some nice flooring done. Make it look a bit, have a bit of character to the base as well. Could we'll do a little bit more research for hot tubs, but yeah. Other things we can do, I could possibly go around and we can check for some more hidden old school loot in some of these things. And I guess other than that, we're just going to go and destroy the two enclave bases that are here so you know that'll be the last things we do maybe we'll do an election day soon what's it six o'clock yeah maybe before everyone gets on let's do a quick election day see who becomes the final leader we'll do a bit more base stuff i might put some turrets down outside as well because we literally don't have anything this is our killing area by the way like it's not anything fancy it's a funnel they go to an area, but they can spread out. And we're not that good in terms of cover. We've got a good Arco shield, which has helped probably save us a couple of times. But yeah, maybe some more power goes in as well. There's a few little touch-ups to the base. But yeah, I might um, yeah, I might go and take out some of those installations just to see if we find any, any cool interesting technologies. But first, let's get an election day done. I think Angelina is going to be the leader again. Don't care who it is. If it was Wilbur, that'd be cool. Oh, it's going to set top left. It's going to set top left in a minute. They're just all having nice conversations. Nice and friendly. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Don't raid me now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Don't raid me now. And come on. Angelina is the elder. It was a mismanaged election day, so the moods aren't going to be happy. But we have our final leader. That's uh, two two terms for her, I think. I think Hazelnut had a couple of terms. Um, pretty sure Butcher was leader at one point as well. So at least like five like election days. That's pretty good. And we've been here 237 days. We're probably getting in there. All right, let's have a little rest up. Let's do some more base management. I might force them to... Pull these in a bit faster. I want the base to be... Oh, look at that, actually. That looks beautiful. It's amazing what you can achieve when you have quite a few good builders and time and all the resources you need to actually do it. This room is now done. I think it's beautiful. We've got this different style kitchen-y kind of like... Well, diner floor inside here for the cooking. I am working on steel. Just regular steel ones in here. I want a different contrast in colour without reusing some other ones. I think that looks quite nice. And I also like kind of forgot that I wanted to do some stuff in here. So some bonus filing cabinets for decoration. 
and a scientist's cabinet and an ENIAC, which gives us a lot more research power, which I should have had in a long time ago. But that kind of completes the lab. Ignore the fact that there's a deep drill there. But I'm only doing that because we've got quite low on plastic again. I guess I could switch that back on, but I don't think we need much more. I put another one of these down, which used up like a lot of the plastic. Um, that's getting repaired. So now we have 28,000 excess watts. It'll be 30,000 soon. I could definitely afford to get rid of the outside stuff, but I guess there's no harm keeping it. If we did get raided and we had to retreat to the vault, they can destroy it and it won't affect us. That's the most important thing, realistically. Uh, the sauna is in. And the hot tubs are researched and going in as well. Could do a door between these two. I could just open the whole thing up. I might open the whole thing up just so that they can just wander between. But there's enough toilets. There's only a few sinks, but they can wash in the bath. No showers, but eh, we don't really need showers. Could maybe have had like toilets up here or something as well. Little bathroom, but no one's up here that much really. So yeah, it doesn't really make much sense. So I think, yeah, after I get a few more bits of flooring done, I'll probably do these three rooms as well. I'm going to leave this paved and I'll leave these concrete. Get all these inside, geez. Um, there is empty space for all of them. That's 180 that can hold. So I'm looking at this alone. Okay, I've got too much. <laughs> we'll have to turn on making some packed concrete again so we can get rid of it. But that's not too bad. So yeah, once that gets done, we're going to probably go... Oh, Viking is using... You can't see his body when he's naked, apparently. I think when I take off the power arm to get n naked, it doesn't show. But Angelina will probably show, yeah. Whoops. That's boobies. Okay, I left it a little bit later in the day, maybe. I wasn't really paying much attention. It's like four o'clock now. I'm sending six people. Where my, where was my research? I've got some stuff to do still. That's repair technology. Six people are going to go. And we're going to go to the nearest one. Um, we'll drop in the center. I'm feeling quite bold. I think six people is probably a good number. Gives us plenty to defend at base as well. It's not far away again because we've got in the center. We can fly out quickly if we need to. But let's just check out a couple of them. If the first couple don't really give us much, I won't worry about going to the rest. But it's part of the reason why we're here is to find technology, right? So let's take a peek behind the curtain. Relationship. Soraya's lovers here. Land right in here. I hope we can take off from here. Oh, we just cleared out some of the wall. Okay. Interesting. Just smash down some things. Wait, are they in this room here? We can tell. Two mechanoids. You know what I think was happened? These, when these things come up as quests, and like you can go to this, they automatically designate the, the map tile and what enemy is going to be there, the threat level based on your current wealth at the time. So if this one's been here for like a year or two, it's gonna be pretty weak like this. Um, lover, I could maybe try to go and get that. Get that, get them, because it's kind of like nice. I wouldn't get anyone else generally, but because it's them, why not? Right, let's go inside here. Oh, Lewis is up. Okay, everyone, Get outside, it's about to be a fire. Granzy got hurt from that. What have you what, what are you rocking there, mate? Battle rifle. It's not even that great. You're about to get set on fire and fight these things. Wait, they didn't wake up from that. Let's go and I don't want to shoot them. Let's kind of punch them. If they if, if we can capture them, I'll take them back. I'm going to guess we're, we can't see. I'm going to guess they're not alive. Um, you know what? A quick sleeper, maybe. Uh, there we go. Well, I could I could loot the... We should probably kill them, though, right? Yeah, let's go kill them. Viking girl, get that one. Pip, get that one. And we'll kind of tuck our way in here. Is that one dead already? Okay, fair enough. 
Fair enough. Right, that's all home zone. I can get the plaster if I want to. Yeah, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Right. Advanced components I'll take. Pulsar I will take. And the Barnic body parts I will take. Do we take... No, nah, we won't take your body. We wouldn't even know, right? We wouldn't know. She wouldn't know that their partner's dead. We don't know that that person was the partner unless, like, they told us about them. But even then, like, the name's on the screen, but they wouldn't be like, Hi, my name's Lewis. My lover's Sarai. <laughs> no, we wouldn't know this. Let's go. Probably going to go to the next one. See what's there. Grand's got slightly hurt. Well, actually, how hurt are you? Yeah, your leg's a bit busted, but it's all right. I might even use the eye. If anyone needs an eye and a spine, I might actually give that to people. You know what? Maria's got a bad back. We could give her the spine to make her more useful. But I don't know if it's really worth it. What do you mean it's not fully loaded? Oh, Pip's not there. <laughs> Whoops. Did they drop some plastic as well? I did. Almost left Pip behind. Let's... I don't know when these ones came about. Um, if I go on the map quickly, this was three years ago, okay, this was, okay, less time ago, 21 days ago, the funny thing is actually, if I go to these ones, the loot won't be any, any worse, it won't be any worse loot, it'll just be less defenders, <laughs> so I might as well go to the ones that are less defended. Well, uh, this one started off quite... Oh, no, oh, that could burn. My sh Oh, my stuff's in there. That's annoying. Okay. Just keep working through. I guess I could quickly home zone it just to... Yeah, go put the fire out. I don't want the fire to spread to my ship and all my new bits. And then I think there's going to be like one bad thing in here probably. Don't know if it's really worth doing the last ones. We're getting components and stuff and some silver. The architect stuff's nice, I guess, but we've had them before. There's nothing really new there. I'll tell you what I might do. So I don't have to bore you guys with everything. I will do the other four. Unless anything major happens, I'll just do the other four. Fly around, take care of the business. And then I'll just kind of tell you guys what we kind of find if there's anything good. I've got a feeling it probably won't be though. But you never know, we might go like a really cool weapon. We might get a legendary gun. We might get some people. Probably not, but I don't I don't want any more people. I think we're quite cozy. What is this lost technology? A Pico Machinery Gladius. That's one thing we won't get in because we have to finish. This make, makes the last episode. Is um the architect is, is making the architect components to make over the top powerful armor and weapons. But these guys are selling one. It costs 15... Well, they're trying to charge me 15,000 for it. We got some of it. And I think we could probably scrounge together enough stuff to buy it. And see what it's all about. But look at the damage. It's absolutely absurd. And I don't know who gets it. Viking or a pip. I haven't quite decided yet. One of the two. That's if I can afford it. Okay, we'll sell one advanced component. That gives us everything we need. I didn't look to see if there's anything else we want from these guys. I don't think we wouldn't need any armor. No, I think we just take this over the top powerful sword. Take my items and my money. Who deserves it most of all? Pip has the better melee ability. Has been here since the start, but does have the legendary version. And you've got a normal weapon. Vikinger. Equip the over-the-top powerful weapon. He's also taken probably the most damn. And I pitched lost both legs at one point. I remember Viking going down and nearly dying a couple of times. You may leave. Let's have a look at this. Doesn't look like much. But if you look on him, it might be a bit more damage as well. Maybe not. 99 DPS. 149% penetration. Compared to 31 and 50. So, it's going to tear through everything now. And I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I might have to switch him up from not being the EMP person then. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do what I said I was going to do. And I'll go into these four places. Before I make any body parts, we might find some more 
at these areas. So I'm going to send like maybe the same six people off. And we're going to tear around these. And maybe we get lucky and get some legs and arms. Then after that, I'll look at seeing what I can make. And also, I'll pick up any plastic that I can. Well, that's an interesting time. I'm about to send off six people, but mechanoids are coming to murder me. So I guess we cancel that. <laughs> we limit everyone and we fight instead. Hopefully this is the only kind of like fight we have here today because after doing the last one, because we've done one more already, got one more to go, which I guess maybe I don't have to worry about doing. I don't know. I'll decide. We got ourselves some research things which I will we'll learn, but I wanted to show that I got them. We've got some more pulses and stuff as well. And got a lot of gold, plastic, and components and stuff as well. And some more drugs and some go juice and stuff. Nothing too serious, but what is coming in to murder me? Scythers? Yeah, I had a feeling it'd be Scythers. 66 Scythers. Ah. This one could be a bit more lively, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to mortar them a little bit and make them come and get me <laughs> uh viking is down because i've also made an arm to replace he got two permanent injuries on in his arm and i thought i'd throw the spine as well i could give it to maria but no offense to maria she's 87 she might die in surgery or just die anyway <laughs> so i'm not gonna worry about that too much sleeping sickness is still going are we gonna hit no, we shouldn't hit our own shield there, so we should be good. Uh, it's going to be a bit more of a lively fight. I'm a bit concerned about it. 66 is quite considerable, but... Hopefully we can take a few out with the mortars first. We killed a few with the mortars, only like seven. Injured a few more, though. I made sure that I grabbed the EMP grenades off a of Viking, although Viking is up now. I'm not so confident they're going to be in a good position, but... I'm going to get him up there with grenades. I'd rather have someone who can go faster with the EMPs, right? So Vladimir's full manipulation. Viking has a bit, a bit on the light side. But he can throw some grenades out, at least. And if they come close, he's got a really good sword. Right. I'm going to try to plan this perfectly if I can. Right. Grenadiers ready. No point being the shield properly. But I'll just stand behind here. So if they do push into me, they won't be able to overwhelm at the front, at least. I haven't got the turrets down yet. I really should be working on that. It's very slow going, isn't it? <laughs> it's only like shooting one at a time, but the more of the walls that we break ourselves, the more chances that they're going to push out and actually be a problem. Let Sarai go, because she's being really moody. So we'll keep an eye on make sure Maria and Angeline don't try to pop out and start doing some repairs. But it should be pretty trivial. And trivial it was. We did break through our walls a little bit. But they got stunned so much it didn't really matter. Bots can go back on. Oh, Big Red, sorry. Oh, I thought I undrafted everyone. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Whoopsie. Moods went down a little bit. How's the sleeping sickness going for you guys? 39%. 46 over it and big red yeah they're in the well ahead of it it's just sleeping sickness just takes a long time to just get through still as i said before it's one of my least favorite one in the time it's taken people to still try to get over their sleeping sickness i've actually managed to get like this is like the third or fourth person have surgery <laughs> so it's actually worked out okay like it's a bit of a shame it means i have to like play and record a bit more which I mean, I'm never going to complain for having to play more RimWorld. But this means I'm going to have to edit down a bit more. <laughs> uh, kind of depends. There's another leg there. Kind of depends on the situation of the uh, uh, Enclave bases. Kind of much about your head. Right leg for Vladimir. Boom. There you go, mate. Go in there. I'm doing lots of surges around the same kind of time. So we might have a few people knocked out or a bit dazed. If a raid comes in. But I'm not too concerned. Are those turrets done? Of course they are. <laughs> of course they are. Um, yeah, that's got okay vision. And they can all just about reach enemies pushing through. Rare thrombos. No thanks. 
So I'm quite happy. We've got the, the, the little spotlight here to daze them. We've got them there. We've got a grenadier spot. We've got our shield. It's not really like a kill box, but it's a funnel into... I keep saying this. Like, if anyone ever complains about, oh, you used a kill box, you, you, this is your tactics you used, tell them to play how they want to play, and you'll play how you want to play. <laughs> like, there's skill to not using kill boxes, but a lot of time you're still cheesing in another way. So the game the game sends 100 tribals at you, or 200 tribals at you. Are you going to go out there and meet them? No, because Rimworld likes to throw arrows through marine helmets, like, regularly. you gotta, you got to do what you can do. It's a tactical-based Connolly manager kind of game, so... <laughs> That's my justification. Not that you need to justify it. Oh, Vladimir's leg's done as well. What we got left to make? One more leg. I think I might need more than one more leg. I'm going to go through everyone again. I know Sleepy definitely needs... Wow, well, could do with... Big Red's done. Rev. Okay, so maybe let's put on another leg as well. I think it's just Rev and Sleepy. Well, it's 7am, and this is going to be the squad I'm going to try to take into the first one. I'm going to leave a few people behind. Big Red's almost over the Sleeping Sickness, but it was got a shotgun, and I think a lot of it's going to be long range. So, although I'm taking my two melee people with me, I think I might get them stuck in if I have to. Plus, they can throw stuff around corners if we need to. But, yeah, we'll leave some people at home to defend. We've got turrets, and we can fly back if we have to. But let's go see what this first Enclave base is about. No, apparently there's too many colonists in there. I don't know how many people I can take. It doesn't actually say. <laughs> Wait. Um, doesn't say. It might be... It's not a weight issue. Okay. Let's... I'm going to try it with 10 people instead. Hopefully that's going to be okay. Well, we're finally going. It turns out that 8 was the lucky number. So eight versus one enclave base could be a little bit tight, but we shall see. I also had to make sure that we took some uranium to refuel when we're there, because I don't think we had enough to get there and back. Which means, I'm not sure if we've got enough to get there in one go anyway. I guess we could fly halfway there. I could fly to like somewhere to trade, refuel them, fly on, then come back again. If I can't land on a set tile, we, we will see. We'll see how it goes, but I'm a little bit concerned. But we've got good armor, good guns, and yeah, worst case scenario, I don't want to, but we could always make a second one of these. But that'll take a while. Starvation, Vicky starving. Why is Vicky starving? Where is Vicky? Where's Vicky? I don't think she was one I took with me. Oh, she's one I took with me. Ah, this could be a bit of an issue because they were messing around for a while. <laughs> it took me a whole 24 hours to actually get this done near enough. I should have probably prepared a bit better after that. That's okay. Someone could drop food for her. You won't starve that quickly anyway. That's a long flight. This thing does not fly very fast either. It's taken a while to generate this new encounter. Here we go. Let's have a look. Okay, it looks like it's a normal size kind of base. Do they have mortars? No, they have turrets. They have... Big guns as well. You know what, though? They don't really have power armor. But they have some very nice weapons. Ugh, okay. Who's that? They got a ghost. They got a ghost minigun thing. Is that a ghost minigun? Ghost lance, that's it. Ugh. Okay, how about I go around the right side? The turrets don't have power either, which is a good start. I go around the right hand side. Then we just shoot as they come around the corner. And Vikinger gives me the old slash. Okay, let's go. There aren't that many. There might be some like going in and out outside, but I think we kind of like got this covered, right? They're gonna attack us anyway. Okay, they are coming for us. Let's get behind cover. Okay, they're going for my ship. They someone's hit Wilbur. Zippy's got the Gorse Lance, and I don't know if that's what hit Wilbur. No, Gorse Rifle, plus my nutrition. They go and destroy this, we're in a lot of trouble, so I need to take these out and move down quickly. I'm not in the best of positions here. Maybe Vikinger goes down here and just charges. 
Okay, they're both dead. This is really good, actually. Let's get into some cover. And you guys kill that one up there quickly. Don't destroy my things. Okay, we're kicking the crap out of them. Viking is okay. He should kill him really fast with his weapon. Okay, they're fleeing. Don't hit, don't hit Vikinger. Nice. Wilbur is not bleeding out or anything. Let's just go and finish these guys off. They're being fools and fleeing right next to me. We have a fire near our ship. There is food on the map, so once you kill that one, go eat some food. Eat some food. And then we can check out their base quickly. I wonder if there's anything cool in there. Communications array. Ooh. Let's just claim everything that we can see for now. There are turrets, which we could take apart for plastil, because they are made of plastil. They're all made of plastil. Ah. That's cool. Uh, you guys come with me. Oh, Granzia's up here scanning already. Ooh. A plasma machine gun. Uh, yeah. Wait, they've got three te two tech professor cores. That basically makes you a research finish instantly, if you're not familiar. What are these? A control panel. What do they do? Nothing. No, wait, I'm on the wrong thing. What do you do? A uh, series of switches and display devices intended to serve as an uh, interface... Boost research speed by 10%. Oh. Okay. Some armors. Sorry, guys. Go in here. Batteries. I don't necessarily need this stuff. And loads of meds. Loads. Oh, my. 150 advanced components. <laughs> well, I guess if they are the end game kind of like people to fight. What's over here? These mine? They are mine. Go check this out for me. Okay. <laughs> There's some good stuff. Oh, I didn't even go in here yet. Go in here. Okay. What's in here? Did I... This is mine. I claim this. For the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, advanced Turbo Plasma Rifle. What? <laughs> I guess in some of these weapons you can't actually make. That's just going to be another one of these. And what was this gun? A six hour, I thought so. Um, food. And a comms array thing. Okay. Well, that was beautiful. Let's sign this always home. i going to probably reinstall the ship over here. Vicky, you're going to... Vicky, wake up. Grounds is doing it. Okay, cool. Sure. Is they don't tend it to Wilbur yet. They have not. Uh, Conrad. Go tend to Wilbur. Well, I was thinking we're going to go back home anyway because there's nowhere we can fly over to the other one. But. Wait, look. It shows me how much fuel I've used. Unless we put some more. Oh, they put some more uranium inside it. Right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's make sure I put home. There is a home zone there. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad in the end. We base destroyed, which gives us reputation with everyone else, plus 20. Except, of course, you know, <laughs> the Enclave. But I'm going to allow everything, and yeah, let's load up. Well, that wasn't too bad after all. Like, they had some good weapons, and it was a little bit dangerous. The only reason we're a bit moody is because I spent so long trying to work out how many people could go there. And I didn't like think about, you know what, let's just take a second, let me have another night's sleep, get some food together. Now I know how many people can go. <laughs> um, yeah, but it went all right. Eight people seems to be about enough. Don't know if I really need Viking there for melee. But just in case, I guess we probably should. I could take some longer range guns. I've got some more snipers. But that ghost lance scared me. I, I think it was biocoded, I'm guessing. I didn't actually remember checking. But I don't want it anyway. The amount of times I've friendly fired with gorse weapons is absurd. But I might check out the other gun that came in. It's 20 range, so it's not that good. 
But I think some people here, like Big Red, it's got like a combat shotgun, which is less range. So if I give them the other gun, it's more range and probably a lot more damage. Okay, we're loading up for the final assault. Feel a little bit bad for the people who are going to be left behind. But at least they're safe and they can still like guard the place. Plus some of the people I'm leaving behind need the surgeries. Which I'm thinking they might end up getting... Wait, we've got one. Yeah, we're getting the stuff done already. So Angelina do the surgeries on Rev and Sarai and Pip while everyone else is away. So when we come back, they might all be okay. Here's hoping. So we can't quite make it to here. So we could land there. Maybe we can't even trade anyway. Let's just land as close as we can. Then we can refuel and then continue. Hopefully. If the game lets us do that. I've took uranium and chem fuel with me. It's a uranium thing, but sometimes when you do caravans and you, you ref, refuel when you're out, it's like it, it wants chem fuel instead. I've had that bug happen before, so we'll see if that happens. In the meantime, Rev, it appears we may well have some lungs for you. And you're set to bad meds. Let's put you on this. Let's see how well that goes. Bit risky doing surgeries while there's less of us here to defend, but we've got turrets, we've got the new cool mortar. Probably gonna be alright. Okay, we're there. Refuel. Yeah, fuel, see oh well, it might be uranium. Wait, wait, pause the game, I've pulled the game. Items. See it used chem fuel, even though it's a, a uranium fueled thing, it's used chem fuel to do that. Weird. I'm hoping everyone's now eaten. They're sleeping. I think everyone's eating. Should I let them sleep there for a little bit <laughs> before I fly onto the base? I feel like I probably should. Yeah, let's let them sleep a little bit. Then we can fly there, fight, and we can eat a bit more there. Maybe all we'll drink our Nuka Cola drinks. <laughs> the moods are getting better already. <laughs> Rev's had their lungs done. Yep. Um, that means I could do, let's do Sarai's kidney. Kidney. And then we'll do Pip's last. And then everyone, apart from a few like torso or head scars, and obviously Maria, everyone's going to be pretty good. Skin hardening's done as well. Who are you guys? Slave traders. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? They're frag grenades. Okay, cool, cool. Spiky frag grenades. I like it. Okay, they're approaching. So Rides has got up from her surgery. Pip's going to go down for his. Here we go. How upset are my people going to be when we get there? <laughs> Probably, I'm going to guess very. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Let's look at this base. They've got auto cannons, but I don't see power at the moment. I... You can do something really cheeky. Oh, I can't do it. Okay, I can't claim them. This actually works in my favour. This works out in my favour massively. The reason being, they've got walls this time. So they can only leave the base from the top there and the left there. So I can stand here. They can come around the corner and I'll just shoot them. Depending where we're landing. Or we're going to go right in front of them. Okay. I'm going to go through everyone and drink our drinks. Although they've dropped them all on the floor. Everyone's dropped everything on the floor. Okay. Right, I'm going to let them have a little bit of a chill and sort it out and then go for them. But we're also behind this wall here, so we're actually quite well protected. Refreshing cranberry Nuka Cola. Right. We good? Okay, come on. They might sort me as soon as I get close. Well, they might not. Okay, let's kind of get into cover here. If we start shooting the turrets. You get behind that corner there. Actually, what range have you got? If you get there, it might be okay. Let's make sure everyone's kind of like covered. Probably all right. Right, shoot that. Okay, we've now lost some wall. But that's okay. Hoping we can not die. Well, I think I could throw plasma grenades.
Use these chunks as good cover. Okay, comrade's been hit. And they're fleeing and base destroyed. And they're all dead. <laughs> they're all dead. Conrad got burnt a little bit. But he's not too bad. Who's the happiest out of all of you guys? Big Red. Don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to go through with Big Red and check all the buildings. See what kind of loot we got. And we should also probably... Ooh, all the good stuff's in there already, though, for fuel. I might leave it over there and just... Probably won't take anything from here. We don't really need anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the loot in this one. Oh, it's a poor one, but... Ghouls Precision Rifles, Avenger Miniguns. Super Sledge. What does a Super Sledge do? Nah, nothing's too significant. Um, okay. Right, okay. It's exciting. <laughs> Should have attacked these guys earlier. Well, they would have killed me earlier, probably. Or we got another one of those data keys, which I don't think I can do anything with. Awful Duster. Is yeah. that a gold statue? Damn. We've got loads of more fuel I can just take to refuel, but I think we go okay anyway. Okay, there's not too much in there. Um, some, some... What are these ones? 30 range, 29 damage, good armor pen. Okay. One's awful. <laughs> Imagine having awful loot. Like, disgraceful. And loads of meds. Okay, cool. Well, I don't think I'm going to take anything. Am I going to take anything? You know what I'll do? I will home zone it all. And I will start loading. And I'll go through this quickly and just say I, I, I might take some things to make sure we take the advanced components. But maybe some of the guns that look pretty good, you know? Oh my god, this gun is, shoots at 70 range. If I'd known that earlier, <laughs> I would have definitely, if I can make it, made one. I could have outranged every turret in the game. Okay, we take one of those. <laughs> we take, just for the future. Don't really need the power on a helmet, I'll take it anyway. And I'll take another data key. Even at poor, that's worth 4,000. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Let's make sure we take all the chem... Uh, let's take 300 chem fuel. I might leave the uranium behind now. Because it doesn't really matter. But what I might do is get Conrad to quickly refuel it. Because they refuel it with the uranium. But on the road, we fuel it with the other stuff. I don't know. That's the last base done. There's only two of them, to be fair. But the Enclave are defeated. If you go onto this screen now here, they're greyed out because they no longer have any bases. We have one. And going back to the base before we land, everyone's had their surgeries, I think. Pip's... Yeah, Pip's done. Sarai's done. And Rev. Look at the lungs over there. Oh, they're back. They're back, they're starving, they're loaded up with meds, loot, guns. There's components from the first one, which I forgot to take off. Some bonus armors. Yeah. I, w I wish you had this gun earlier, though. 70 range is absurd. But that's amazing. Well. Start, part of me is thinking that maybe I shouldn't have gone around and put those other little places to make sure the episode wasn't too long today. So we'll see what I have to cut out because I've been recording like an hour longer than I normally do. So we shall see. But let's have a quick look over the base before we end for the last time. We had a nice little pumping zone up here. The ideology room is fantastic. Some hydroponics inside the base for some Nutramine and just some food. Power room's pretty power, over, overpowered. <laughs> overpowered. Well, there's a lot of stuff in there. We, we got like 29,000 excess watts. We don't need the stuff outside. Our research room, one of our main things we wanted to do is looking fantastic. We've got some high-tech stuff inside there as well. We've got our mortars and our scanning stuff, prison, really good workshop. I would have liked to do some more automation. The conveyor belts and the auto drills, though, were, were, were did enough, you know. Could add some auto crafters, but our crafters are also very good, so that was awesome. We've got some good cool tech here, some architect stuff, the core, subsonic cores, cool. 
loads and loads of resources. Got a supercomputer, can't forget that. Dining room, looking quite tasty. Good hospital with some additions. Uh, kitchen slash grinder room, the drills. Big one of these barracks, that's the words, with like adjoining bathroom, hot tubs, and sauna. And uh, our recreation room, which is uh, very well used. I keep seeing them going there quite a lot. We built one, we built a few vehicles, we got one left. Didn't really do much with that. And we've got a big escape room over there. Not to mention we've got our vertibird, which was very slow but useful. And yeah, some turrets, the Arco shield generator. I was going to do some more with turrets and have some fortifications, but didn't really need to. We were quite solid. So yeah, we've got two relics. We destroyed the Enclave, we built a nice solid base, they can continue living here for the foreseeable future, researching and finding more. There'll be more complexes that turn up for them. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this run. I hope you guys have too, if you've enjoyed the run. We'll be doing another one soon with the Anomaly stuff, which is out now for you guys. Um, but it's out tomorrow for me where I'm recording this. There should be an episode coming out today and then two more. This will be the last one, obviously. Um, so maybe so it's Wednesday today, so one up today, then there'll be a Saturday one and a Wednesday one, and then I'll start probably recording a new series. Not exactly sure what I'm doing with it yet, but we shall see. But if you've enjoyed it or just want to help me out, don't forget to subscribe, like the videos, comment if you like. Check me out on Twitch as well. But thank you guys very much for watching and joining for this series. It's been really good, and I will see you in the next series.